with DJ, I saw a headline, I think it was about a year after you'd had him. Yeah. I, I, he's so cute. <laughs> I, about a year after you'd had him, I saw yes. these headlines uh, saying Jordan Sparks is opening up about postpartum depression. Mm -hmm. And then I actually clicked on the interview and you were explaining the journey so many women go through. Some call it baby blues, others are yes. diagnosed with postpartum. Yes. What was going on in your life? Well, so for me, I, I I think it was misinterpreted when I was talking about it, but I, I had something called the baby blues when I was researching to figure out what was going on with me. It's about a couple of weeks after the baby is born, you just uncontrollable crying, anxiety goes through the roof, um, just not really being able to control the emotions and feeling kind of nervous about everything. Postpartum depression is, is a lot more intense right. and, and deeper than that. So I don't want that to get misconstrued that I had that because I did not, but I know that it is a very And there's a thing. distinction. I, I yeah. cried a lot at the beginning. Yeah. I mean, I was just like forever crying. Yeah. Yes. I did not have postpartum, but mm -hmm. recognizing that both are difficult struggles yeah, yes. for women is a part of the conversation. Yes, there's so many things that we as women don't know or aren't the conversations aren't had about our bodies and, and what how amazing we are, one, by the way, um, what we can do. And your husband, Dana, is you've been married for two years yes. now. How did you meet? Uh, it's a very long story, but I'm going to try and keep it very short for this. Uh, essentially, I did a, um, I would follow the Super Bowl around each year and I would try and shine a spotlight on organizations that were making a difference in the city uh, before all the like major parties would come in. And so 2017, we were in Houston and that's where his family was. And that was their organization actually, Forge for Families, um, is what we were going to explore and, and talk to them about and just shine a light on them. And uh, after all of that happened, we were there for a while. It was great. We all had a great time. Dana wasn't even there. He didn't want to deal with Super Bowl traffic, so he was in Dallas. Oh. And uh, my mom and his mom hit it off. And I was very excited about them. You know, my mom's like, I got my friends. So this was a mom hookup? So they put us on a group text. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and we never stopped talking. And now here we are. So your mom helped introduce you to your husband? Pretty much, yeah. I love yeah, thanks, that. Mom. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> right. I love that. Uh, Jordan, you co-starred with Whitney Houston right before her death. Yeah. Um, and you were the last, as I pointed out, to sing with her. Yeah. Now she's inducted. Well, hopefully, will be inducted yeah. into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. She's she deserves that she, for sure. Uh, she deserves yeah. everything. Yeah, she deserves that. What was that experience like, being so close to greatness? Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I remember our first table read. Um, we all got there. I mean, I know I got there early because I was like, I want to be ready when she walks in. I don't want to cause any problems. Um, but I, we were there, and she walked in, and we all just were like. We don't know how this is gonna go. And it was amazing. She was so warm and so welcoming. She was really funny. She was cracking jokes all the time. Um, but what I loved about her was, you know, sometimes you hear, especially among women in the entertain and entertainment industry, like, you know, that there's always this cattiness or this yeah. competition that's going on. And she wasn't like that at all. She really lifted us up on her shoulders and we're like, she just wanted to see us shine. And I think that experience was really beautiful for me because it was my first time doing a film and I was like, I have all these amazing people on this cast and here I am taking a role that Aaliyah was originally supposed yeah. to have. Like it was a big, there was a lot of pressure that I felt. Well, you rose and to the occasion. Thank you, I Absolutely appreciate that. You but did. she was so sweet and I'll never forget she, when I was doing the uh, song in that red dress, the final song, One Wing, and when I was filming it, we were shooting it from so I was on the stage, so all of this was empty. Where we were was, was empty, there was nobody sitting there. And she came in on her day off and she sat in the audience to support me. And I, she was the only one, an audience of one was Whitney Houston. And I was like, <laughs> what? It was the most amazing well, thing. Well, little things like that. She, were supportive. She, she was thoughtful like that. Well, the movie Sparkle was fantastic. And Thank as you. you pointed out, it, it's tough because it was a remake. Yeah. And there you are mm -hmm. um, stepping into this role. And then you have Whitney Houston there.